Hello guys, I am Kirtart and in this tutorial series, I am going to show you how you can make your own quadcopter from scratch. So now, what is a quadcopter? Well, this is how a quadcopter looks like. So quadcopter. So quad, quad means four, copter means something like a helicopter, copter, blades. Okay. So now this is a quadcopter. So Wikipedia defines quadcopter as an unmanned flying vehicle with four rotors, which is true. Unmanned flying vehicle because you can't put a man on this. This is no human on it flying vehicle and it has four motors. So yeah. So now the basic thing, uh, use of RC uh, of uh, quadcopters is through RC. RC is radio controlled. So now you can do pretty cool things with these quadcopters like you can add an FPV and let's just say you're going on trekking and you want you know the quadcopter to get good pictures of you from the air you can put this up get it on the quadcopter get it on your hike get an aerial view of all the things that are going on over there. So that's one good thing you can do for this that is aerial view FPV quad coupling. You can also do some things like aerial photography and also aerial video shooting. Now the next thing about the squad copter is it can lift a lot of weight and is very expandable. So now tomorrow you want to add GPS on this, you, you can go add a GPS. As you can see the quad copter has a lot of expansions that you can do onto this. So like it, now as you can see over here that the middle bay is completely free and even the down part and this is the one that I have done. So now these quadcopters can be expanded onto a lot more platforms than only just quadcopter and stuff. Now the next thing is, it's the very trendy stuff right now, quadcopters are going to be very trendy stuff right now. And it's also very very useful for the hobbyists and people who just like to fly or build something. So that's the thing about this quadcopter. Now the next thing is, why should I build? quadcopter why can't I go and buy a quadcopter so now the reason why you have to build a quadcopter is one is the experience of building so the experience of building a quadcopter is amazing you've got an amazing experience of building the quadcopter now the next thing is it's going to be very cheap so something like the DJI Phantom would cost you $500 uh, $500 now this thing can do pretty much what a, v a DJI Phantom can do, just that it does not have an FPV and it just cost me about $150 to $200. So now yeah, so it's very very cheap. You can do a lot more stuff with a lot less cost. So if you guys going on a budget thingy, this is the one that you want to go for. Next thing is, DJI Fan companies like DJI Phantom and other companies, they only, you know, give you their quads. They give you what their quad is meant to do. They give you what they want to sell you. They don't give you what you want. Now let's just say you want you are into drone racing. So now people for people who don't know what's drone racing, drone racing is basically like RC car racing but with drones. So yeah, um, they, I'll give you some links if I can find some for drone racing down in the description. But yeah, that's what drone racing is. So now let's just say you want something that's can hold FPV, good FPVs like you know the heavy ones, can do a bit of weightlifting, an experimental quad, but can also do drone racing. So then they are this one is actually a good model for drone racing, only like I forgot to remove this. Then it's gonna be good drone racing quads. And the next thing is you can make your own specifications out of this. So you can add your own power, you can add your own battery life, you can add your own control board, you can add your own transmitter or receiver. You're not bound to the things that only the uh, person who's going to sell this to you is adding on to this. You can add your own features on this. Next thing is, uh, people who like to code, do programming and all this is again very good for them. As building this is like a Lego block but if you want to actually program this board or build this board, it's going to take some power and it's a good challenge for uh, programming your own board so that's one thing I want to do I want to program my own board but I need to check that out later so yes guys so those are the things that you can do with this quadcopter and it's pretty handy and pretty easy to build so if you have gone to forms and they have said you building a quadcopter is hard buying a quadcopter is easy they are wrong building a quadcopter is very very easy it's just like a huge 
Lego block getting it together. Now guys, uh, the other thing about this quad copy that's really cool is if you guys are going to build one that you can repair it easily. So tomorrow let's just say you broke something or you want to make a modification, you can do it yourself. As these technologies are not going to go very far, they're not going to get changed, they're all, all going to use the same type of thing that they're, they're going to be used today. So 10 years down the line, this could still be the major thing that you guys are going to be working on. So yeah, that's the good fun of quadcopters and they are also very fun to go and go ahead and fly. They've got a good battery life. So my quadcopter over here having a 5200 mAh battery can fly for up to 15 to 25 minutes on a full charge. So yeah guys, so this these things are pretty neat, pretty cool, pretty amazing stuff. So you can expand a lot, you can build a lot, and you can do a lot. So now, if you guys are going to build a quadcopter, I'm going to make this tutorial series where I'm going to show you how you can make your own quadcopter and what are the challenges that you may or will come in forth and how can you get them off. So now, when I was building my own quadcopter, I was 12 and now I'm 13. So. The thing is, when you guys build your own quadcopters, it is confusing when well, you're going to thousands of websites, thousands of things, trying to get each and every blog information and getting them and making sense and trying to make sense of the big words that I use on blogs these days. So this tutorial series are going to be there for the newbies who have just got into RC flying or have no experience with RC flying. I'm also going to be teaching you how all of this works. So any problem that you occur that I didn't think about, you guys can obviously troubleshoot it. And you can all and I'm always contactable. You can always um you can always come and you comment on this if you guys have any problems and I will obviously come back to those comments in maximum two weeks time. So yes guys, so that's the thing. And uh, go give me a like and a thumbs up if you wanna continue doing this. And if I can get up to more subscribers, I'm also going to be making a video on how to get a PC and all of that. So that's apart from this. But anyways guys, quadcopters are pretty fun things to fly. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I enjoy flying the quadcopter out of most aerial vehicles over there. So I enjoy these quadcopters and I want everyone to enjoy this and not go through that terrible headache that I went through about building mine. So thank you guys, stay tuned and see you later.